Hello and welcome to the Vetrex AudioTap installation video 2019. This is a newer video that I've been wanting to do for a while and I have a little bit of time and I want to revise the one I put out there a few years ago. The product has changed a little bit. Um, this is the third one that I've made. I made two of the prototypes that I have which I called uh, version 1 and those were sold uh, long ago. Version 2 was pretty popular. I got uh, 32 of those in circulation. Mm -hmm. And now this is the Elite version which is my best one yet and it uh, is shipping now. I have done two pre-orders. There will be about 20 done before too long in circulation of this particular model. Now. Some of you tuning in here on my channel might be like, well, what the heck is the audio tap and what does it do? Well, the Vectrex here was actually capable of three channel stereo, just like um, keyboards that Casio and a few other um, people made different devices. Um, some of the computers were capable of it back then that used the same chip, the General Instruments chip sound generator. And um, I wanted to exploit that for the first time so people could enjoy what the Vectrex really had to offer and it's way 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 better when you can do it trust me it's worth it so what I've done I've put a lot of work and time and effort into this product to bring it to you um, these things take about five hours plus to make from start to finish as you can see there's a lot of fabrication going on uh, to do this so a lot of coordination to make it happen here is my newest offering. This is actually a customer I'm sending out tomorrow, but I'm going to use it for the demonstration now. Um, he will get it in a box, just like this one, matter of fact, and uh, <clears throat> top comes off. And I'm going to show you the product, just in case you're not familiar. Um, just take it right out of the box, it's form fitted in the bottom. Here is the audio tap. Now this one is um, completely aluminum in construction. It's very, very heavy, high quality. Um, it uses an extremely high quality uh, volume control, a solid aluminum mill uh, knob for the volume. It has a stereo and a mono switch on the side here so you can adapt it for wherever you want. I don't think any of my customers ever use the, stereo, uh, the mono version for monolithic sound. Um, it's got a 3D printed spacer on it here, and what this does, uh, it illuminates blue for showing you it has power. Um, also has a headphone amplifier in it, so it works in conjunction with the volume control, so you don't have to disturb anyone at night if you want to play like a lot of my customers do. Plugs in right here. All the jacks are gold on the unit. <clears throat> this one over here. This is for the AudioVox offering, and you can buy an AudioVox, uh, I believe, from Atari Age now. And what this does is you can feed the output of it to in here and adjust the volume on the AudioVox, and it will mix the audio from your AudioVox into the Audio Tap, so you don't have to have different speaker systems and, and whatnot. So that's a pretty convenient thing to have. So I uh, just wanted to let you know what that did. Our back here you see is the standard RJ45 jack. Um, the LEDs are not used, but <clears throat> I use the jack. And uh, that's what's going to connect you to your daughter board um, to the Vetrex here. Now, to show you, this is the daughter board that you will get. It's very simple. Uh, you need to make sure that your Vetrex has a socketed audio chip. If it does not, you will have to uh, take the board out and solder a socket in first. Uh, it's just the way that very few of them are. Uh, so be sure to open it up. It doesn't take no time to open it up and check that to be sure. So if you continue on with the video, you'll see where the chip is and how we can check that. So when you get this unit, you're going to get, of course, the, the uh, uh, daughter board, the unit itself, you're also going to get an uh, extender in case you wanted to use a straight through RJ45 Ethernet cable to make your run a little bit longer. 
So you'll have that. <clears throat> You're going to get on the bottom of this, there's a small certificate on the bottom to show the production certificate and, and what number you are on this run. So, pretty cool. This is also a bigger certificate you get. It's printed on a, a thick rag, high quality piece of paper. And it's also got my seal on the back of it. And I'll also sign it for you. So you know it's authentic. I'm gonna set that over the side here. And also comes with a, a manual. Uh, this is a full blown manual. It's got quick starts in it. It's got everything you're gonna need to know. You need to uh, to reference what we're talking about here. For most people, it'd be all they need, really. Important note: when you're using cables to hook up anything, you want to use the uh, TRS cable right here, and not the TRRS cable that's used in cell phone connections. You want to use the old kind. So, set that over here. Now for installation, you really just need to take the back off with a screwdriver and um, you might need, uh, if you don't have a chip puller, just a small flathead screwdriver or I'm using a pair of uh, tweezers here to do it with. Now the daughter board that I just showed you is already populated with the chip on it. It's already been put on there. But when you pry it off, you want to make sure that you don't pry the actual chipboard up here you want to do it right under right under the uh, chip itself and pry it up like so so set that over so when you get it it won't have a chip on it you have to put yours on it now this clip right here you see dangling I know you're kind of asking what that is well basically in order to have uh, the noise generator do the speech digitization that was capable of spike um, back in the day on the original releases, you have to tap into that audio so we can mix it in. Uh, it's a very simple place to put it. There's no soldering. You just want to, uh, I'll show you how to put this on the, the right resistor and it'll actually do everything for you. This cable also comes off. Uh, it might make it easier for you to clip it first and then hook it up later after you get the chip in, the daughter board. So we'll go over that too. Now, let's go ahead and turn the Vectrex around. The cover is already off on this one. The manual shows you what screws to take out. There's a couple here, a couple up here. It's very simple and straightforward. Uh, once you get the top off of it, you're gonna look for um, the, uh, the audio chip. Now the XYZ cable, sometimes I'll unhook that right here to simplify things and get it out of my way. I'll just take it over here for a moment for clarity. And I've got a magnifying glass. Let's see how well this is going to work for the video. It may not work well at all. But if you can see, I don't think that's going to work. But okay, let's do it this way. <clears throat> Your audio chip is seated right here in the socket. Okay. And when the chip is in there, you're going to want to pry it up like I showed you earlier, very gently. Right there. Sometimes you can pry it up on this end, just hike it up a little bit. Take your finger on the other side and wiggle it out very, very gingerly until it comes out like this. Now, at this point, it's simply a matter of uh, taking your, your audio chip that you have here. And you want to put the notch, which is right there. You'll see a little divot right there where pin one is. And you want to line it up, make sure you line it up just right on both sides of it. And push down. Once you see everything is lined up, nothing's bending, and you'll hear it snap right in. Okay. And we'll take the wire off the, the daughter board here. Right. And we'll 
take the foam off of it to protect the legs on it. And stick it right here. Uh, the legs can be a, a little delicate. Uh, they're long enough so you can install it here. Um, this part coming up, this is where you want to pay attention when you put your daughter board in. You want to make sure that you are um, taking care to, to really uh, make sure you get the legs just right. And you want to make sure that it's well lit also. As you can see where the daughter board is. So you're going to put it in with the cable toward the back right here. I'm going to take this off for now. Matter of fact, actually, you might find it easier to go ahead and install the uh, the clip for the um, speech right now. And it's got a little hook on it right here, as you can see. Push in on it, the hook comes out where you can grapple the resistor. And the resistor is the resistor 330. And it's going to be uh, the third one. There's three resistors right here beside the sound chip three of them right here and it's going to be the middle one and you want to clip it to the leg going forward toward the front of the machine so the easiest way for me to show you in this video would probably be to show you in the manual picture right here so as you can see there is a leg right here there's three resistors one two three there's the sound chip you're going to put it on the front of the leg here going toward the front of the machine the middle resistor right there here's a better picture of it right here and you can see where you're going to put it right in the middle so you can do I'm going to go ahead and clip it in there um, it might be a little challenging to get it under that leg just keep trying you know push it down down like this and you might turn it, you might want to turn this a little sideways since it's straight right here. And you're going to go right up under it. And the best way you can get it in there. And there Come on. There we go. And it clicked. So. That's good to go now. Now we can put the daughter board in right here. And we will line up the legs real nice. And take a, you can take a, uh, uh, a magnifying glass or whatever you want just to be sure and use a really bright flashlight. Once all the legs look like they're seated properly, then you can push it in at that point. Yeah, there we go. And you can hook up your speech wire back to um, the daughter board here. And that should be it, really. That's it for installation right there. Hook up your XYZ cable again. All right. That's probably going to be it double check make sure it's seated properly now we'll hook up the audio tap here here click that means you're good to go get this magnifying glass out of the way all right now I've got a uh, test speaker right here of course you won't be able to hear the, the stereo or nothing here you have to check my other videos for that demo I'm gonna plug it into the headphone jack Turn the unit on. Turn it up a little bit. Like so. Alright. It's working. Yay. Alright. So, let's go down and you should be able to, to, to go on your menu if you have a multi cart. You should be able to, to page up and down, go up and down like this. 
um, since the sound chip is used for some of the inputs for the joystick control, um, that's a good test to make sure that everything is, uh, is good to go. Make sure it's seated and, and all that. Because if you have a problem going up and down or side to side, it could be that you missed a leg on your daughter board or it's not seated all the way. Double check that for uh, troubleshooting. So we'll go ahead and I'm going to check out uh, Spike just to be sure that uh, everything is working. which is really good. That's the installation video for the Vectrex Audio Tap. If you like to learn more, join the uh, Facebook group um, for uh, Vectrex Fans Unite Explanation Point or the Buzz Off Kit, Buzz Off and Audio, the Buzz Off Kit and VAT for Vectrex Gaming Systems, which is my group. And of course, this YouTube channel you're watching right now. All right, thanks a lot.